they surrounded me and I'm just like <laughs> my body is ready Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast, the world's only It's Andy's Birthday Podcast. My name is Matt, and I'm here with Andy and Sam. What's up? Happy birthday, Andy. It's my birthday! My birthday. I'm 26. Nothing happens. I don't have insurance anymore. <laughs> That's about it. Is it really your birthday? It is. Really my yeah, birthday. Today. today is Andy's birthday. Damn it. That was cool. Uh, Skyler, <laughs> Skyler got me a $10 gift card to Panera Bread. We're <laughs> 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 He's like, I got you, I got you ten dollar gift card to where our friendship first became one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what the fuck did I write on your wall? You were like, I'm dr- oh on on the Steam one. You're like, I'm drunk. Here's a good game. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not hungover though, but I did get drunk. Nice. Off I of what? Shitty beer. Nice. Shitty <laughs> beer. So Coors? No, Coors is actually on Keystone. Beer. Oh, <laughs> you're a man. Let's see what it say here. It's true. What he said is true. Dear Andy, I'm drunk right now, but not too drunk to remember your birthday. This game is sweet. Come back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll come back to bed, baby. <clears throat> so how do you redeem your gift card for Panera Bread when Panera doesn't do online gift cards? <laughs> That's a good question. I just took Skyler's money. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking psych. How are you guys? I'm tired of shit. <laughs> you gonna go back to bed after this? Um, no, I guess I'll get up. But I'll yeah. probably go back to bed after this. Nice. It's too early for me anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, you're night. Oh yeah. Your yeah. schedule. Like, yeah. Since I work till midnight. Hey, you're welcome. I was thirty minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> I was still up. Oh, I was here on time. <laughs> <laughs> you live further away than me. But uh, a building away. <laughs> <laughs> um you liking it, the new the new schedule, the hours? I'm not really liking the schedule so much. Really? The job's fine. Schedule's eh. Have you had any irate customers yet? Oh yeah. Really? I, I had to call the cops on one. Oh, oh really? really? That's what it was about? Story yeah. time, story time, story time. I don't know how much of the story I could well, say, but he was threatening someone. Uh if you need to replace his name, just use the name. Skyler Andy. Skyler Joyce. So Skyler called in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was really angry, dropping F-bombs. That's fine. And then he started saying that he was going to go back to the establishment where he bought something and was going to do harm to Tam. No he way. seemed very serious about it. Did he, did he have my information? He knew where you worked. <laughs> oh, God. But how does this involve PayPal, then? Well, he was calling in about a, a product that works with PayPal. Oh, okay, okay. Just on speed dial. Just, I gotta vent to someone. Yeah. <laughs> I did get a guy just venting about how computers are ruining the world. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Did you just let him talk? Yeah, he talked for like 20 minutes. Was it fun getting paid for that? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't... I, I do you, uh, was just saying like, okay, the whole time. Like, do you I, have a okay, phone so. or do you have a headset? It's a headset. Nice. Yeah. Is it a nice headset? Eh. Can you bring your own in? Maybe. Get, get yourself, like, a really nice one, like, yeah. super, like, Got, like, a Turtle Beach phone. headset going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear you in both ears, ma'am. I've awesome. got you in surround sound right now. <laughs> 7.1. Yeah. With a microphone on each side to get stereo, stereo microphones. Is that is that you house like... in the background? You're watching house right now? <laughs> it sounds awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I know that episode. I, uh... I understand, I, started... you have, I understand you have a problem, but if you could just shut up. I missed this one. <laughs> I really, I want to catch up on where I'm at. <laughs> I started the week, uh, I talked to Space Ghost. Does he sound like Space Ghost on the phone? Like, did you instantly know it was Space Ghost? I didn't instantly know he was, it was Space Ghost. He said he was, he needed, uh, he was having trouble getting into his account, and he had some cash he needed to withdraw for, for selling autographs. And I was like, autographs for what? And he said, 
uh, Space Ghost. <laughs> and I said, wait a minute, Space Ghost? And then he went into the Space Ghost thing. He's like, yes, Space Ghost. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I wanted him to like start the phone call. Hello, this is Space Ghost, <laughs> and I'm oh. having problems with my PayPal. <laughs> yeah. it, it was That's pretty funny. That's awesome. And then he was like, so you've seen the show? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you're a sick young man. <laughs> <laughs> Does he seem like a cool dude then? Super cool, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Um, there was one time my within the first six months of managing at Panera Bread, I had an hour, hour and twenty minute phone call with a lady who was going through a messy divorce, and like us being closed at ten o'clock was the breaking point, like her breaking point. So she called up and just fucking unloaded about her marriage. But it was one of those I'm pretty sure that I was like. Hey, if you want to come up to Panera Bread, I could probably bang you and give you some broccoli cheddar. It was that type of like venting. She's like, she's like, my husband left me for this fucking floozy, and and then the thing was, she's like, and the judge told me, she's like, I had to get a car, so I bought a Lexus, <laughs> and she's like, and he's he's giving me shit that I should have bought a cheaper car, and I'm like, y yeah, 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 you should have. But I can't say that. <laughs> but yeah, she was like, like basically she married into money and then he left her so she has no money. But he left her with the kids and so she's like still trying to live that lifestyle but has no money. God. But she just wanted some goddamn broccoli cheddar. Yeah, I had a lady that was so frustrated. She was just like, she was whining and I hate that. Uh, and then but... I was just like, I needed some information from her. I needed some information from uh, that, her banking information. She's like, well, I don't have that. I don't memorize. Oh, my God. And I'm oh. just like, ma'am, do you have a check? <laughs> because your bank account number is on your checks. And she's like, oh, yeah, I got a check right here. Oh it's like, God, God, take two <laughs> fucking seconds to process the information before you start whining. <laughs> um, oh, my God. So I used to work at, in fast food as well. I used to be a manager at Burger King. But before I was a manager, I was a, <clears throat> I was a team member. Right. And uh, I like to fuck with people, mm -hmm. obviously. And uh, there was these two uh, really, uh, really buff drunk guys who came in and wanted some Burger King. Uh, time period. Or uh, time in in minutes. the day. In the day. All right. Uh, no, that's fine. Oh, I, I was. I, Time period of the of the day, yeah. Or like, yeah. Sorry, not of not the year. year. What time did like, they come in? Yeah. What oh, time okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. It's so good. I'll clear it, it was, up for you. It was like it was a little after the lunch rush. Okay. So I was wondering if this was like a eleven o'clock thing. No, no. Two um, buff dudes. <laughs> and uh, I made I made some gay joke towards them, mm -hmm. and they were real mad about it. And like, man, we're not gay. We're not gay. And one dude <laughs> is so mad he pulls out a nude picture of his girlfriend and goes, <laughs> I'm banging that and shows it to me. And the other guy's like, yeah, I'm not gay. I pulled out a picture of this dude's girlfriend and his girlfriend nude and shows it to me. I'm like, how did you? Okay, that was awesome friendship. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I apologize for everything I said. <laughs> oh, my God. We just got done sweating our cores off together, bro. Yeah. Well, here's my naked chick. Sometimes I give him bro jobs, but it's just a joke. I'm just messing around. <laughs> I don't let them finish. I, I stop. I'm like, whoa, bro. It's not gay if the bros don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's that's good shit. I <clears throat> talked to a drunk lady who wanted me to release, like, $1,300 to her. Ooh. And I was like, technically, it's up to me. Oh, like, really? Yeah, there's no, like, hard and fast rule, but I was just like, no. You're drunk. You're going to have to wait the two more days for that to clear. <laughs> They have to wait a couple days. Yeah. When you, oh wait, you're in charge of, of letting it go, or they have when to wait. you when you ship something. If once it's listed as delivered, then we hold it for three days just in case the buyer opens a dispute. All right, that makes sense. That makes total sense. If you don't provide a tracking number, we hold it for 21 days. That makes sense too. But this was delivered, and it had been delivered like that day or something. And there was a lot of money, and she was drunk, <laughs> and I was like, no. I, no, yeah, and I saw see. she had a prior dispute like a month before, and I'm like, yeah, because yeah. yeah. then we're out that money if the does PayPal hey, lose good a on lot you. of money? <clears throat> do you think? Good decision. Yeah. yeah, that was a good decision. Drunk people should never deal with money. <laughs> yeah. I fucking buy shit all the time. Yeah. I'm like drunk. I'm on Amazon. I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> I almost buy. Don't drink in prime. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Uh, too good. Um, <laughs> ooh, that's really good. It was quiet. You should sound sound. 
clip that out. Sound clip. There's. I have everybody on separate tracks too, so you guys could have been screaming, but I would. Yeah. Ah! I could still clip that out. That I awesome. almost bought in a dr- in a drunken state a uh, nine pack of <laughs> chips because they were only like eighteen <laughs> bucks. It was those like Ritz Bits baked crackers. And it was like nine bags of nine little bags for eighteen dollars, and I'm like, that is a great fucking deal. And then it's, I got to check out and everything. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Camilla comes in and just tackles you from the computer. Damn it! Andy, you're ruining our lives with these mini bags of chips. <laughs> we needed that money for not important things, like and, larger and the, bags of chips. And the chips were the important things. <laughs> I, uh, I bought off of Woot. In a drunken stupor, which actually turned out to be a great idea, a uh, hundred double A batteries. That nope, that's a great idea. Yeah, batteries are a thing. First of all, they were cheap, since I bought them in bulk. Nice. And I will never run out of batteries. Yeah, batteries are a total. If I see like a good deal on that, I will hit up batteries. I still have like ninety eight of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they're, um, they're good. They're I only have one ones. thing that uses batteries, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bought I bought a PC while drunk off a of Woot. I was like I was like, oh man, uh, an HP Pavilion quad core. You know what it fucking turned out to be? They took a goddamn laptop motherboard, slapped it in a in a desktop case, and that's how they shipped it. Because I I was gonna open it. I had a bunch of old like PC parts. I was like, oh, I'll just mod it because it was a bare bones kit. Right. And I opened it, and it's a fucking laptop motherboard in there, so you can't add shit to it. Did you get your money back or anything? No. Yeah, that's Be- fucked up. Like, I mean, whatever they said was exactly it, but... It said, like, laptop motherboard no, and shit? No, but it said the motherboard, and I... I was oh, like, it said the type. Yeah. Wow. So I was like, oh, okay, that's a great... That, that that sounds great. And then when I opened it and realized that it was a laptop one, I was like, motherfucker. Mother and of course, when you border. open things, that's like, well, you opened it. I bought a shirt from Woot that had uh, audio bars on it. Was it the tree? No, oh, okay. it wasn't the tree. It was, it was just like regular, just like audio bars, and there was like a little battery. And then oh. like if people were talking around you, you could see the different. Nifty. It would, you know, spike up and down. Well, it came with like a broken cable. Oh. And I just took a picture of it, and they gave me my money back. Nice. Um, I bought a shirt from Woot that I think is still pending in my Woot account from like seven years ago. <laughs> it was a tree with musical notes and the notes it was like fall so the notes were like blowing away in the wind and oh, it was nice. really cool. Never got it. They never charged the card though, so that was nice. Yeah. That is nice. Man, I haven't been on Woot forever. Yeah. Well, let's Have what, they had so many good deals? Like I stopped Woot doing Woot right because now. they got really they expanded really fast and I was like, you guys sold out. Galaxy tab on Woot. And then what's yeah. all the other fucking woots? Look at how uh, many woots they computers, have. Electronics, computers, home tools, garden, sport, accessories, watch, <gasps> kid, shirt, Hookahs. wine, cell. How much is that hookah? Oh, God, who fucking cares? I don't I don't care. I just want to know how much they're off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 18 bucks for Frosted Zen hookahs. Frosted Zen, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Get you, oh, what's a wine woot? Camilla would be down on that. Vinium Cellars Infidel. Yeah. Oh, they have that type there? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> also, whoa. Whoa. I don't know what, just because this person's picture in the corner reminded me, but have you seen the picture where people compare uh, the werewolf from Twilight to, to an, an alpaca? alpaca? Yes, yeah. I have. That's funny, because he does look like an alpaca. Yes. Guys, I figured out how I'm going to get my own monitor. Okay. There's a little bit of a reflection on... Matt's post. Don't move your head. Oh, <laughs> I get to see, like, nine tenths of the screen. Oh yeah. Yeah. You see this? As soon as it loads, <laughs> you see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I there, do. There you go. Thanks. I <laughs> Thanks load. for flipping me off via my janky mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I just a... flipped him off via reflection. <laughs> Boom! It looked like his right hand, but it was actually his left hand. <laughs> Psych. So, uh, Pathfinder. How'd that go? Played some Pathfinder. Uh, it was just one long combat. Oh, really? God, yeah. Like one? It was one combat the entire session. Quote, I don't want this combat to take all night. Austin literally did say, I don't want this combat <laughs> really? to take all night. And then he started throwing a ton of shit at us. And then, really? and then had us fight a monster where he's like, yeah, this is probably too strong for you guys. 
Is that, why it, is that why it took all night? Yeah, it took all night. The combat itself. It's like some, uh, there were two ships. I'm glad Tam was actually there so he can actually help my memory. <laughs> I hope. He might not remember either. I actually remember quite well. Okay. <clears throat> so. What I did at the very end of the campaign. That's what I remember. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. You took over for a little bit. So, first of all, we've been promised now for about a month that next week we'll finally arrive to the continent. Oh, you guys have been on boats for a while. Yeah, now. it's always next week. But it's next not week this gone. week. And last week, that was supposed to be the week. But now we're not playing this week, so it's definitely not this week. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> yeah. We will never arrive. I am so sick of boats and water and boat fights. Anyway, so we see two ships that have like white flags and look like, like injured people and stuff. So they uh, pull up on each side of our boat. Probably shouldn't let them do that, but they did. Yeah. <laughs> so they flanked our boat. I didn't uh, fully understand the situation, but like later during the combat, I was like, wait, they flanked us with white flags? Yeah. <laughs> While all the crew was giggling? <laughs> <But, laughs> the body this is the first time this has worked. Pretty. It was a pretty dirty trick, to be honest, because they were white flags and people were hurt. And so we're like, shit, we got to help these people. So uh, I have been looking to redeem myself for the breaking of that guy's leg <laughs> oh, yeah. so i get on the ship and i'm like i'm gonna look for someone with like you know a broken arm or something like that and i find one and i was like okay so you know, i'm gonna set your bone i roll i roll like a five austin's like you oh no <laughs> but here's the kicker he didn't even flinch and i was like didn't that hurt and at that point four knives stabbed me in the back <laughs> oh, they were undead no <laughs> <laughs> Don't say no. His inability to heal someone saved the crew. It could have been much worse if the if it was wasn't it like a just... Final Fantasy thing where healing hurts the undead. Yes, and so oh. I was destroying them like crazy with nice. channel energy. They surrounded me, and I'm just like <laughs> with channel That's energy and awesome. just vaporizing zombies left and right. Oh, that was. I always liked in Final Fantasy. There was the one boss you could throw like a phoenix down on and yeah. just insta kill. Mm -hmm. So. While I'm doing that, uh, Crunchbite again falls in the water. Yeah. And it, it spent quite a long time. Arkham and Mr. Ed were trying to get him out. So that was fun. <laughs> spent quite a bit of time on that. And uh, so some goblins come down from below deck and they're like those fucking, they got like blue eyes or shit like that. Yeah. yeah and they were Almost. talking about the drowned god again. Yeah. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> So I go back to the other ship. I'm thinking, like, I'm not going to be the only one on this ship with a bunch of goblins. Uh, undead were fine because I can kill a ton of them in one one round. Yeah. But goblins, I can't just channel energy and poof, kill them, you know? So I go back to the other ship. And was this about the time that monster-ass monster jumped up on the ship? Uh, No, there was a lot of talk of, hey, we should probably leave. And yes. then we did. They didn't do that. Right. We and then there was more talk of we should leave, and then you didn't do that. I did. I was gonna get the cap. Uh, did the captain ever fire cannons at the other ship? No. Yeah, I didn't think that ever happened. I was gonna get the captain to fire cannons. Actually, I wanted him to fire both ships, but Stefan decided he was gonna look for loot. I was like, I uh, a little dangerous, but <laughs> I thought about that as soon as the as soon as you got back to the ship. I was like, why isn't anybody saying take off? They'd have to turn around to come catch you. I know. We, we should have just taken off. I, I guarantee you, though, I'm pretty sure Austin was pretty dead set on fighting us, this us fighting that thing. So if we would have taken off, we would have got like a couple feet and it would have poof, jumped on. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. But so, yeah. story-wise, it would have made sense to, made to, sense take, to take off. off. Yeah. <clears throat> Does that sail? We, we have a bad habit of not leaving bad situations. We do. We're always like, oh, let's stay to the end. Do you have a good habit of not leaving good situations as well? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> as long as there's a balance. Mm. A balance of the force. So, some goblins try and jump onto the ship. A few make it, some fall in the water. Uh, at this point, Crunchbite and Arkham and Mr. Red are still fucking humping the water. Literally. Uh, oh, yeah. Mine and Tyler's mana was zapped. Oh, oh yeah. I had half mana. It wasn't a problem for me because I have a ton of mana. It was a problem for Tyler because he does not have a lot of mana. Ooh. He actually ended up running out of mana oh, and no. became completely useless. Shitty. <laughs> That's so, shitty. 
this fucking thing jumps on our ship. It's like, wait, like an octopus type thing. A kraken? It wasn't a kraken. Damn. Does anybody from that group listen to this podcast? I know Austin does. Okay. Why? What were you gonna say? I was gonna make comments on the game, but I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, especially with. Not actually haven't played the game once. You kind of played. I did play. All right, let's go. <laughs> um, I feel I feel Crunchbite needs adult supervision when playing her character. She's like brand new too, so yeah, she does need a little supervision. And then she'll she'll get there. Uh, Tyler Twos. Uh, <laughs> that <face> yeah. <laughs> totally could have done something when he didn't have magic. He just gave up. That was frustrating. He could have he could have done like used his brain and been like, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and help the captain navigate or let other people or the big admiral guy that spoilers ends up saving us from the big mon- maybe that person should know. Yeah. Maybe that could have happened from the useless wizard. Like right. He does have a quarter staff too, I think, so he could have you know, tried to hit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have probably been the best option. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, that fucking inquisitor pisses me off. Anyway, so it comes on our ship and it just starts like killing people and grabbing people. Yeah. Oh, and tries. Uh, it it was uh, charming people. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <clears throat> it charmed uh, Swanson, Tyler Swanson. Oh shit. To kill one, he wanted to kill me, and I kept trying to command him to just fall to the ground. Stamp. I, I, <laughs> Stamp. <laughs> I failed twice, but I can also fly if I turn to a genie. So I just kind of flew off the ship, and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> go get me." Not so tough now. Go get Fuck me, you guys. But it tried to charm uh, Stefan. And he rolled a 20. Nice. And then it also tried to charm Luna, who's fucking powerful. She rolled a 20. Nice. And it can only char- charm three times. Oh, nice. So, so we're like, got yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Three charmed people would have been fucked up. Yeah. Especially if they got that Luna. Yeah. Luna, goddamn, is fucking powerful. So this thing has basically gotten to the point where it like had like everybody grappled. Because it used that black tentacle stuff. Yeah. Except for me. Because I'm flying off the ship shooting arrows at it like, you're not so tough. <laughs> you're not so tough. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a damage dealer, so Stop. I was doing my best. Oh, it was also had had fear. People were scared of it. Yeah. Oh, within like like, 30... oh Jesus, yeah. this thing sounds insane. Yeah, I, I was able to suppress it, it on wasn't... a couple people. It didn't do a bunch of damage. It just didn't let anybody else do anything. Right. And, and you couldn't hit it. It right. was almost it was almost impossible to it, hit. It had spell resistance. Jesus. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was like it didn't do a lot of damage. So it wasn't we weren't worried about like dying right away, but it could like grapple a bunch of people so they had to get out. They couldn't do anything. If you got close to it, you were stricken with fear. If you tried to attack it from far away, it, unless you had a bow like I did, uh, it was it had magic resistance. It was just fucking hard. And man. the the grapple because it's a big tentacle monster. It had like a you had to roll like a thirty five or such, oh, and like yeah. nobody in the group had over sixteen, so you had to roll a natural twenty. Yeah. To oh. to try and get out, and I think, that didn't happen. I think only Stefan had the chance of rolling like an eighteen or something like yeah, that for was, escape artist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the fight was a little stacked. This sounds like a mini boss almost. With how yeah, fucking hard it boss was. Boss boss, like yeah. this thing was fucking hard. Eventually, the Inquisitor finally decides to show up. Nobody got close to dying, though, right? Nobody got close to dying. Not anybody important. Like... No. Some, well, some people did die, but they were deckhands. Right. Oh, the first Support mate guy. died. Yeah. Ah. Oh. He was the guy we promoted to first mate after the other first mate died because he rolled like a 20 on an attack on one of Tyler's clones and just fucking cut his head off. Nice. It was the coolest thing ever. He you was, earned that. He was just some deckhand, and he just fucking cut the head off of one of Tyler's clones. Sweet. Yeah. He that's, earned that then. Yeah, he earned that. That's why we promoted him. He died He died doing what he did best, <laughs> battling. So eventually the Inquisitor shows up and zaps the uh, magic resistance from the, from the creature, and oh then Luna shocks the fuck out of it like multiple times. It dies. Yeah. Did you guys get a lot of experience? We did get quite a bit of experience. A lot of experience. Any good loot come from it or anything? No. no. We didn't really loot it. Um, kind of slid off the ship. We oh, got okay. a ship. We got two oh, ships. You, you got another? You got oh, two did we, ships Did we now? pick up both? Oh, we didn't pick up both. Yeah. I don't think we actually ever left with... We haven't left yet, so we could okay. still choose either one. 
Okay. Which was you guys lost a ship, didn't yeah. you, in the beginning? We, we lost the Sun's Grace. Now we're on Bodhi. Bodhi. <laughs> Bodhi. <laughs> Brody. Brody. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bodhi, Brody, and Clyde. That's what the three ships going to be named. <laughs> That'd be good. So yeah, I guess we'll find which one's more seaworthy and take the good one. They're probably both the fine. Really? Seaworthy. Sea <laughs> <laughs> They're probably both the same, really, but you know, I guess we'll we'll look covered in undead and gross goblin tentacle monsters. Right. Well, you we find one. We could <laughs> shove those out the porthole like we do for every dead body. <laughs> well, just get that out of here. Yeah. And see, you just leave a trail of fucking bodies. We don't we don't throw them overboard. We shove them out the porthole. <laughs> That's how we dispose of dead bodies. Oh, uh, we also got a uh, to to help in the fight. We got. Like the water elemental? Oh, the something? water genie that didn't yeah. do fucking shit? Yeah, just stood in the way. <laughs> yeah. We we asked for the water genie because we're like, we need all the help we can get. And Austin was like, well, I don't want to play so many characters. And I said, well, fucking stop introducing so many characters if you don't want to play them. And he's like, all right, fine. And the water genie comes up, fucking stands right in my way so I can't fire arrows at the fucking thing. Ooh. So I had to move. Ah. Shitty. Well, it was fun. I'm excited to I'm excited to play. It was a fun environment. It was fun. Yeah. It'd be really cool if there was a ranger in the group. It would be cool oh. if there was a ranger. In the group. <laughs> it would be nice. Actually, a ranger would have been fucking sweet for this. Tyler casts fly on you. You kind of go off the ship and start firing arrows. Wait till fly runs out. And yeah, sink fly to the runs out. The ocean. Falls into the ocean. <laughs> well, this is happening. I did what it's I could. Okay, I could have cast like ride the waves on you. You can breathe water for like eleven hours. Ride, ride the waves. Ride the waves. How does water affect the bowstring? I don't know. How does what? Water affect a bowstring. Does well, it... it's made from horse gut, isn't it? I don't know. So, don't like, know. you're, like, in the water, and you're, like, <laughs> I, I would, I, I would think it, would, it wouldn't, like, snap, you know? It would just kind of... It'd kind of have more, too it, much it drag. Def- yeah, I think it, the drag would be really bad. Because <clears throat> I know you can't, you can't slash in water. You can only do piercing damage. Uh, if you know the answer, uh, send an email to 3 hit combo at... 3 hit combo podcast, podcast gmail.com. Gmail. 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 Yeah. Um, we'll how late do you guys play again? We usually play to like eleven thirty, midnight ish. But I know some people leave a little earlier. <laughs> like useless wizard. <laughs> I don't what remember was his it, name. Six thirty. Oh, six thirty. Yeah. Although last week I didn't know when the fuck we were playing. It was six thirty. Then it was five thirty. Then it was six. Then it was six thirty. Then it was six forty-five. Side I really note. want to come. You guys took all the time to make a character for me. I feel really bad. Yeah, no, like I, I do. I feel really need to level it up. Yeah. Side note, um, do you, Matt? Would you have time to help me make a character today? Like finish it or no? No is an okay answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was no. gonna say, <clears throat> if you and I can get together with Tyler, he would be able to help us quite a bit. Okay. I actually asked him yesterday if he would have time. I found a little character sheet app on my phone. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and so I can just put everything there and then send it off as an email. Nice. So, okay. Ooh, you have an iPhone? Yeah. What's it called? The Pathfinder character sheet. It's like five bucks, though. So. Oh, oh, I have iTunes. That's why right, I if got I, it. If I play the game, I'll, I'll get it. Uh, but yeah, Tyler has made a lot of characters for this game, so the only character I've ever made is mine, and I haven't died, so I, okay. I, I need a refresher. I made we made Andy's character together, so okay. I know a little bit, but, but yeah, like I, I feel horrible. You guys took the time to make me a character. That's eh, okay. It only took like two hours <laughs> and well, six still, days. <laughs> well, that's still two hours, though. But uh, hand carved the pencils to make yeah, the character <clears throat> sheet. <clears throat> I don't remember off the top of my head what the fuck Austin has us roll for stats. I know he's pretty generous with them, though. Like, like anything below half, you re-roll. Okay, so I rolled really, really good from what the things you gave me. Okay, like really, re- really good. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Min max your characters like Tyler does. Austin hates it because <laughs> Tyler's characters always end up being so fucking powerful because he knows how to work it. That's awesome. Yeah. I think at like at level one, I have a twenty-one dex. Oof. Yeah. Nice. Is it twenty or twenty-one? That's good. Yeah. Austin loves dex based characters. Dex based characters are the best. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. You can't hit me. <laughs> yeah. 
that's how you, that's how you play. Code sleeper will be nice because you got some range. We need some range. What kind of guns do you get? Do you just get like handguns or can you I get like a even, sniper? I haven't or? looked. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a handgun. Handgun. Grenadier. Grenadier. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, but I haven't looked at any equipment because I'm worried more about stats. I've yeah. got a bajillion gold that I get to play because I'm gonna start at level eleven. So yeah. I get to pretty much do whatever I want oh, with yeah. it. Uh, Tyler might be able to help you. He played an alchemist, which would throw bombs. So if you're going to be a grenadier, he knows what feats you can get to not kill people that you don't want to kill. Oh, like spla like controlling splash damage. Yeah, like nice. controlled explosions and stuff like that. Should be sweet. Gunslinger yeah. would be cool. That would be cool. A bard would be cool. We need a bard. When you, you keep when you forcing me to be a bard, you're like, you do bard would be cool. I'm Tim, just suggesting Tim, that you be a bard. bard. <laughs> Damn. When you do things, you gotta do like one-liners. When of you course. shoot things, <laughs> this is your the winter of your discontent. Yeah. Um, hard left. You guys seen Guardians yet? No, no I hear it's amazing. Yeah. Oh my Those god! Eyes. <laughs> oh my god! How was that ending scene? <laughs> do you credits. Do you know about it? I know about it. Yeah, we both know about it. Yeah, the internet, like, the thing I saw was shitty spoilers ahead, so I was like, oh, okay. So, like Andy just said, shitty spoilers ahead. <laughs> the quack is back. <laughs> like, how, God. how did it look? Was it good oh, it was CG? Oh, gross. It was really good CG. Really? It was a gross-looking duck. <laughs> 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 he was, he was, I just need to hear the voice. You're gonna let that lick your face, and then he, just, he looks over and he's drinking out of a martini, and you're like, <laughs> "God damn it, Howard! Howard the Duck!" Apparently, I, I only remember Howard the Duck from the old shitty movie, um, right? And the duck titties. Um, <laughs> but like, apparently, he's a time traveler. Like that's his power. And he's gonna like help warn the Avengers or something about Thanos. Oh or, fuck off, like, Howard! Yeah, he's gonna actually <laughs> be a, a character. Part. He's yeah. gonna be a character. He has like, a part now in the Avengers. There's arc. this half of me that was like, oh yeah, they're not just including the really cool characters like Iron Man and Captain America. <laughs> yeah, they're including they're, the ones they're, that they're, suck. They're throwing in the little guy, and then I was like, no, this is too epic to throw in the little guy. But God, you get like. Three minutes of Thanos screen time. Ooh. Oh my god. I jizzed the entire three minutes. Which was really awkward because my dad was sitting next to me doing <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> we had bonding. Or docking. What I don't I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that's cool that there's Thanos screen time. Oh I've been my waiting goodness. for a while for Thanos. And the the, <laughs> the villain in it is is really, really good. I mean he's like he's got his own agenda that you don't agree with, but like I guess that's the one thing is like I never felt sympathetic with the villain even nice. a little bit. Yeah. He was he was, he was a good bad guy. He was straight he, up. He's kinda of, he's just a bad person. I didn't there wasn't like some uh, ulterior the, motive uh, to the for Magneto syndrome. Yeah, where you, you feel for Magneto even though you don't agree with him. Correct. The, he didn't. That wasn't fleshed out. But I mean, or Loki in a way, you feel sorry for Loki. Yeah. Correct. Like he's he's definitely not a Loki. But like all I've heard is just positive things about the movie. Oh yeah, nothing but good. Rule to twenty. Nice. But yeah. So I'm <laughs> I'm excited to see it. I'm really excited. I I probably gonna see it this week sometime. It's. Did you see it in just like regular theaters or my dad uh had an anniversary in his company and so they gave him a bunch of free movie tickets. Oh nice. And so the movie we went to, we tried to get in to the like the it was last night part of the burning candle both ends deal. Uh <laughs> we we uh we paid the movie tickets and they went. They went. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's only the IMAX 3D movies. So you're gonna pay an extra ten bucks. And I went, ten bucks for IMAX for both me and my dad. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, ten bucks together? Yeah. Oh, that's a yeah. Deal it, was, for... it was five bucks each. Oh, that's a fucking deal, yeah. man. All right. IMAX. Yeah. IMAX 3D. So it was good and in so... IMAX 3D then. Ah. There was there was one part where like a knife was thrown at the screen. I was like, "Oh fuck!" and I moved back and I just I wanted to leave the theater because <laughs> my dad saw me and started laughing. But it was it was very much it wasn't if a I, slow motion. Oh, it's coming towards you. It was a, and I was like, ah! 
That, oh, that's damn what it, got you got me. me. In, uh, <laughs> Star Trek Into Darkness, in the very beginning, there's a spear, and it just fucking comes out of nowhere in 3D. You're just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, But if I saw it without 3D, I'd be okay? Oh, yeah, okay, totally, cool. totally, totally. I try to stay away from 3D unless they're like, the 3D's fucking amazing. My, we got we got there uh, like right on time, so we kind of had a, a seat in the middle of the theater, but on the right side, middle up, right side, and so like it was a little wonky because you weren't right in the middle, and I realized that if you tilt your head at all in 3D, yeah, like tilt left IMAX, and right, the IMAX 3D, you oh, can't, it freaks the fuck out. You can't and tilt that your was head. Killing my contacts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lefty was just like, get me out of here. Just like jumped out of my eye. <laughs> Death Rail. is better than this. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that with the IMAX 3D, you can't. You have to maintain. It was crystal clear though. They should have like little neck rests that like support your head. I mean, and this like keeps it where it needs to be. But you can like do the little swivel deal. But you can't turn left or right. I saw. Tickets would be 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw an article that AMC is going to, like, rip out a lot of the – and put in, like, those comfy couches that a lot of theaters are doing now with the what they have now. So, I think that's – They should install love seats, and then you sit with the stranger. And then hey, them. baby. <laughs> I brought have you, have you sat in those little comfy seats? I have. They're Dude, nice. They, they are nice. little love seats if you pull up the thing. Yeah. yeah. If, they <laughs> are love right. seats. Just it's it's two halfway seats. Halfway through the movie, you're just slowly doing it. Hey. And just, like <laughs> – <laughs> don't don't even. <laughs> Skylar never did that. You just you just crossed the line. No, Skylar usually showed up with his pants off. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we can oh, do that. Oh, this again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'd show up with our pants off. We did. We did a couple podcasts with our pants off. <laughs> did you up, really? Take out my pants right now. That's the sound you hear. That's the sound <laughs> of Matt dropping his pants. <laughs> That's Ooh, them balls the touching the seat. <laughs> <laughs> this opening segment has been so long. Yeah, what are we at now? Ah, that's a good Stop question. playing with your dice tower. Check our time. Oh, yep. over half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. me. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. We just equipped our paladin with a plus three cloak of hilariousness. I'm boycotting your game, Blitz. You're not boycotting your game. That must mean it's time for three hit combo gaming news. Oh, fuck. I was going to say I won't do a story till I roll a 20, and then I rolled a 20. Ha! So, before we get into the story, after you rolled that glorious 20, um, so you said there's no Pathfinder tonight. Is there a Heroescape? No, no Heroescape no? today either. Nothing? Nothing. You have nothing going on on a Sunday? I know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm going to fucking sleep. That's do you want to Do you want a hug? Yeah. You, Give me you one second. Bro, you I'll be right there. You want a bro job? He's coming around. I could, yeah, you can bro job while Tam's hugging me. I finally get to see the screen. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> oh, you had ulterior motives. I, I'm <laughs> sorry I used you. Me. He knows the story. <laughs> Bungie shares Destiny beta stats. Says Destiny was played more than any other Bungie titles. Did you guys happen to play the any of the beta? You know what? I downloaded the beta. I played Spyro the Dragon instead. <laughs> I downloaded it too, and then I moved. So Yeah, that'll do it. I didn't download it, and then didn't play it. Uh, they had over 4 million people play. That's a lot of... Uh, at one time, their highest amount of players was 853,000. That is so 6.5 million Guardians created. I don't know what companion users are. Is yeah. that mobile? Mobile app, maybe? Can you, maybe? Do they have a thing? That maybe. That's, Over, that sounds like a companion, yeah. a companion app. Uh, yeah. Over 88 million games played and 102, 182 million orbs of light. Just so we don't unskew this number, that's over all of their platforms, correct? Yes. This yeah. is yeah. all the yeah. platforms combined. PS3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. All of the other Bungie... Yeah, they're all on Xbox. They're all on Xbox. Right. Yeah. So, so that's one of, that's a misleading stat. They're, right they're just like, oh, look how big we got. Yeah. So oh, <laughs> the things. <laughs> all other Bungie titles are just on Xbox and Xbox 360. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kills good number. on them. And, and old. They're also. There's not a whole lot of people playing Halo 2 right now. I can guarantee that. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of kills. What is that? Hundreds. Thousands. Billions. Three billion kills to 164 million deaths. The community KD ratio is fucking MLG shit right there. 22.53. Yeah. That's awesome. 
Guardians revived 61 million. Public events completed. How do you have so many keys? Are we going over this shit? Now, first it's my wallet, now it's my keys? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Fob for my car. Key for my car. This this was something I got from Rome, but the middle piece broke, but it's my beer opener. Okay. One safe. House, uh, parents' house keys. Because if the power's ever out and I need to get in. Okay. Other safe key. And then these three are my apartment. So it's not like keys Three I... for your apartment? Uh, mailbox, front door, and then my apartment door. Fuck. Yeah. So, I mean, they're not keys that I don't use. Like, the safe keys are probably the least ones I use. Same three apartment keys. And then I've got four. God damn, I have four total. Four yeah, total? Yeah, um, who is it? Josh has two. His fob, his key, and then his apartment. I'm like, how do you not have that many keys? He's like, I just don't. I try and have as little keys as possible. I know that having a lot of keys isn't good for your starter. Or not your starter, your ignition switch, because it weighs on it. Yeah. But I have seen so many more, like, insane... Like, chicks have, like, 8,000 fucking things attached to their keys, and oh, yeah. they my, still do My it. mom's keys are ridiculous. Yeah, Camilla's keys. They got, like, keys. a flashlight on them and pictures. <laughs> Camilla's and, keys, yeah. I generally will, like, when they're sitting there, I'll take things off she doesn't need it. She's like, <laughs> who did this? What? And I'm like, we're the only one in the apartment. She's like, why would you do that? <laughs> like, because you have so much shit on your keys. Yeah, I have. I actually doubled my key. What? I didn't know you had that. I do. When? I've had it for a while. Oh. I just moved the box when I was doing shit okay. back there. I got Shovel Knight for the Wii U. Oh, yeah, we're in gaming now. Yeah, Shovel Knight is fucking sweet. It's very... It's got kind of like a mix of uh, Super Mario 3, Mega Man, and DuckTales. And it's Ooh, awesome. I enjoy DuckTales quite a bit. It's fucking awesome. I uh I watched the Grumps play through. Yeah, it's good. Is uh, it just because it has a good story, or just the game? It's got a good fun? story. It's got good gameplay. It's it it's looks fun. beautiful. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Uh, what type of graphics are they? Eight bit. Eight bit. Oh. Uh, Eight bit with some liberties taken. I know they have some colors that the NES wouldn't have had. All right. Yeah. But still, it's you know it got the eight bit look to it. Um, does it use flash storage? Is that is that is it a hard drive in the Wii or is it actual I think, flash storage? I think it's flash. That's not a Wii, it's a Wii U. Yeah, that's true. If you ask my parents, they're the same thing. <laughs> they're both a Nintendo. <laughs> you got a Nintendo, Nintendo yeah. PlayStation? Yes, Mom. I got the Nintendo Xbox. If you guys want, I can show you some Shovel Knight after this, because it's sweet. Yes, please. It's, it's I would enjoy that very much. I can, uh... Go back through a stage. Oh, I gotta go back through King Knight's stage and get uh, a secret that I missed. And he's like one of the easiest bosses too, so I'll look really good when I do it. <laughs> it's awesome. Plague Knight is a fucking nightmare. He has no fucking like pattern. Oh no. No, he just like throws bombs like crazy. I can't. I can't get a read on the guy. Yeah, that sounds real sick. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, so I just, like, wailed on him. Just, like, stayed on him. <laughs> just, just, just fucking wailed that dude. He didn't have a pattern, so I just kicked the shit out of him. <laughs> Basically, I was just hitting him with my shovel, and if he got far, I'd throw a fireball at him, and uh, that was Plague Knight. He was not so hard. He was just a clusterfuck. Specter Knight, I thought, was really hard. And the stage I thought was the hardest was fucking Polar Nights because it's all icy and you're oh, sliding yeah. everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Is it um? Is it kind of like in the gameplay realm of the old Mega Man's? Kind of. It has an overworld like Super Mario Three. All right. Um, <clears throat> there are different types of knights like Mega Man, and the stages kind of resemble Mega Man. All right. As well as the music, it's got really Mega Man. I love eight bit music. Yeah. I love eight bit. Uh, the the game mechanics play like Ducktales. Right. Oh, I've seen, I've seen a bunch of screens of the this game. Shovel okay. Knight. I hope every single one of those die rolls get gets picked up on the mic. They probably do. Oh, I rolled a twenty again. God damn. Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this around. Shovel Knight. Sweet. I'll just have to wait for a deal on Steam then. Sweet. Cool. 
cool, cool, cool. And I almost bought it for you on Steam. Hey, no, no, that's a, <laughs> that's totally understandable. Sixteen bucks is a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, for a game too. <clears throat> I can't stop coughing. And I've got the sniffles. Oh no, not the sniffles. <laughs> All right. PlayStation outsells Xbox One th- three to one. Cool. I'm about to cough again. Andy, um, bail me out. Do you have any consoles? <coughs> I have a Wii. All right. I have an Xbox 360. Yeah. I have a 3DS. I knew the 3DS. I knew that one. My Wii's actually in my car right now. Do you just do you bring it for Smash purposes? Uh, I went to a Smash Bros. tournament yesterday. Nice. And uh, they said bring your setup. They already had plenty by the time I got there, but like, yeah, I scrubbed out like a noob. Nice. My first round, I faced a guy who I was like, hey, so when did you start playing Project M? He was like, before it came out. Later I realized like he was one of the developers and he helped make the <laughs> game. So he, I mean, I was like, I picked up Project M like a month ago maybe. Yeah. And he's been doing it since the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um. Not really surprising, I guess. It's cool, but I knew that. The Not really surprising. I did my best, Andy. I'm sorry. What? I was talking about the artist. <laughs> I know you were, but yeah. I I had fun. <clears throat> I went to uh, a midnight release when Brawl came out. Yeah. And there was a tournament, and it was really funny because we had to play in the the Wii oh, and Jesus. nobody knew how to play it that way, and it was just a fucking insane tournament i used to only play that way really yeah um because i mean i didn't i left my gamecube and gamecube controller back at my my parents house yeah so uh i was like nobody ever had four gamecube controllers so there's always right. that one guy who had the Wii Remote and nunchuck and i was like i guess i mean i can i can play like this it's not preferred but i i can at least keep up so I was always that guy, and then I had to like retrain myself to use the GameCube controller. Mm. Yeah. I I always ever after the PlayStation One and PlayStation Two came out, and I got like the really crappy third party controllers. When I started buying all my own game stuff, like I got old enough to ha- like have a job, I swore I was like, I'm never gonna be the guest that's like or have the people over like, all right, here's your fucking battle block made out of cement and wood controller. <laughs> like I was like, I'm gonna actually buy the controllers, so. The PS3 I never got to 4 because my dad always had the extra. But the 4, I'm going to try and get 4 controllers. <laughs> the Mad Cat's controller that... Uh, yeah. Mad Cat's always had the worst controller. Let's see if I can find an ugly Mad they Cat. Had, they had the worst fucking controllers. I always... Uh, for the PS2, I bought the, uh, the Nerf controller that you could throw in the ground and it would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I was the angsty young middle school boy who would get mad at video games and throw it. So I was like, well, why don't I just buy a Nerf controller? I've never broken a controller. Me neither. I, I've had controllers break, but just from where, not... I had a PS2 one break on me, but the cable that went into the controller, like, frayed. So I guess from wear and tear, I guess. Yeah. But they make controllers pretty tough <coughs> nowadays. My GameCube controller is just now starting to die and I had it back when I first like when I first bought the GameCube. I still have my original PlayStation 1 no joysticks. Oh yeah. With the D-pad only controller. Ooh. Oh, remember that shitty mm-hmm. controller for the PS3? The yeah. boomerang. The boomerang. <laughs> that was a horrible horrible controller. I think you put your hand on this, and then this <laughs> end goes inside the anus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing that and going, that is fucking stupid. The PS3 was not Sony's strongest console. No, but it, it ended it, up being alright. Yeah, it ended up at the end being good, but it was like, not Like, strong. it's good now. I enjoy my PS3. Yeah, no, I love it now. But when it, the first, like, year I had mine, I was like... Uh, uh, shouldn't have, yeah. shouldn't have bought this. Not Ooh. worth the six hundred and something dollars I spent. Uh. That's right. He paid all in cash. Yep, I paid. I bought a fatty PS3 a month after it launched in all cash. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Out of Toys R Us. <laughs> Current generation of console gaming is coming to China. The Xbox One will launch in the country in September. That's a Has... lot of people to sell to. Yeah. Has Sony done it yet? I don't think so. Uh, I think because of 
the relationship between countries. I don't know. I don't know if it can happen. Same I know. I know. This past year, China's been like really leaning about gaming things. Like, yeah, they've been opening it up to yeah. more things. So, damn, whoever gets there first, which it probably Oof. looks like the Xbox, Xbox One will sell for the equivalent of six hundred thirty dollars. But they're still yep, gonna. They're bank. probably gonna pay it. Yeah. Oh, probably. Isn't it like super expensive in Brazil or something like that? Uh, the PS4 in Brazil is like one thousand six hundred. <sighs> With import I know tax. games in Australia are like a hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah, games for some fucking reason. Even on the Steam store, they're expensive. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's for I digital game. Yeah, for digital distribution, it's still because it. They're like, oh, we got to import tax for digital distribution. And they're also very stingy about blood and yeah. violence. Yeah. Like everything gets toned down a lot for all. Germany time. used to be that way. Germany used to be uh, the blood was green. I know Germany's. I, I think they still don't allow Nazi symbols yep. in their games. Uh, Wolfenstein. Yeah. The edited Wolfenstein was hilarious. Because the, uh, what they did, I think, was just the flags were just solid red. Instead of the red with the black swastika. <laughs> just solid red flags. Like a little flower on it. And uh, the, Germ- <laughs> the Germany South Park game. It's just a swastika.jpg. Yeah. <laughs> instead of swastika. Like, the, 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 the flag says swastika.jpg on the flag instead of the actual swastika. <laughs> and, they, and they got away with it? Yeah. No, I'm just saying that's what they should do. Oh. Oh, okay. I think what they did every time they showed a swastika was, it was like, this is censored in your country. They had different censored screens for each right. country it was censored in. That's really funny. Yeah. I really want to play that Dude, South that game, game is good. I've seen it played a lot. And I'm it just is, like. It's good. <sighs> it's good. The best part is the abortion clinic. I got it. I got it. And the parents doing it. Oh, that scene. And that'll be it for three a couple <laughs> podcasts. We're gonna end on that. You get an achievement if you watch that for a certain amount. Of yeah, time. it's like five minutes. Yeah. But anywho, you don't actually way. have to physically watch it. You just have to have your character do it. But I watched it because <laughs> I go above and beyond. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not gonna lie to my game. I didn't yeah. blink the whole time. Matt and Trey, they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, those guys are geniuses. They really are. All right, guys, that will do it for gaming news. Let's move to technology. Let's actually move this podcast along. How do you kill that which has no life? It's time to turn up the hype machine and break out those wallets. Shut up and take my money. It's time for technology news on three. How you watching? Good, because I made it. They uh, Andy took my dice tower away from me. A four chan post just sold for ninety thousand dollars on eBay. <laughs> the the. Post is, uh, I believe it's framed. Seller obviously had a high ticket price. Oh, it started at five hundred. Ended at nine. It, it's just a post that says, "Art used to be something to cherish. Now, literally anything could be art. This post is art." And it sold for ninety thousand dollars. That's fucking crazy. I figured out how we fix the economy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A framed picture of the original. All right. <laughs> That's great. Jesus Christ. And like the best part is is like if you can go back and you can find that post and you can make make it yourself. You can make the art yourself? Yeah, yeah you, can you just, could. Just do that. Right. That's fucking stupid. Man. I wish I could do that. Like like the guy that got 50 grand for making potato salad. Yep. 50 5500 400 like 90 something dollars for 55,000. He was just asking 10 bucks. He was asking for 10 bucks to make potato salad. Said I like I never made it before and I really want to try. Kickstart me for ten bucks and I'll make potato salad. Actually, let me find that because he had a bunch of funny stretch goals. Did he? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> potato salad Kickstarter. Yeah, there we go. Zach Danger Brown. <laughs> yep, he was looking for ten bucks. He got fifty-five thousand four hundred ninety-two <laughs> with six thousand nine hundred eleven backers. <laughs> Uh, look, 69, 9, yeah, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Illuminati. Illuminati. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Uh, so if you pledge a dollar or more, you, you'll get a thank you posted to his website. Two bucks, you'll receive a photo of him making the potato salad. <laughs> if you pledge, pledge three dollars, you receive a bite of the potato salad. Oh, my God. Five dollars or more, you get to choose a potato salad appropriate ingredient to add to the potato salad. Yeah, okay, let's see. Stretch goals. At $35, I'll make four times as much potato salad. At $75, you'll have a pizza party. 
At one hundred dollars, he'll try two different potato salad recipes. Oh my god! <laughs> What's the highest pledge number? The highest pledge you can do: one hundred ten dollars or more. The platinum potato. Receive the recipe book, the shirt, the hat, along with a bite of potato salad, a photo of me making the potato salad, and a thank you posted to our website. And I'll say your name aloud while making the potato salad. Jesus. <laughs> oh, more stretch goals. $250, he will use a better mayonnaise for the potato salad from the natural foods <laughs> section. <clears throat> for $300, he called a chef to get a better recipe. For 350 make way more potato salad and probably do a third recipe. And probably. <laughs> oh, my God. The, the oh. further stretch goals. At $1,000, he'll do a live stream of the potato salad making. I wonder when he's going to do that. Is this done yet? It, it finished. It finished? The, it just finished. Okay. Because I want to watch that. Yeah. For $1,200, he'll pay someone to film a thank you video for all the backers. Look at the 3000 That's at, the best. At 3000 he'll rent out a party hall and invite the whole internet to a potato salad party. Uh, only $10 and above will be allowed in the kitchen. So, those backers. The internet loves potato salad. Let's show them that potato salad loves them. Jesus. Wow. Here's the risks and challenges. It might not be that good. It's my first potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, because it's Kickstarter, he can do whatever he wants with that money? Basically. Yeah. It's, That's crazy. It's his money. That's As long as he fulfills the, the Kickstarter, like, requirements so as long as he has that party and makes potato salad and does the thank you videos and stuff like that does twitch save the streaming videos at all yeah i think you have to opt into it okay because i was totally streaming from that smash Bros. tournament yesterday oh really yeah <laughs> i was i was i got to be an announcer and i played two three matches nice on the twitch stream nice yeah that's cool. It's we should... really funny because I didn't really know anything about the tournament circuit, and so I got sat down to be an announcer by myself. I was like, uh, Charizard, no, not knowing this famous player's name, Charizard's beating up Pikachu, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Meta Knight's stupid. <laughs> Did you roll a 20? Did you roll a 20? Andy's staring at me while rolling dice. Oh, you did roll a 20. Oh, but you hit it. Oh, my God. You rolled a 20 and hit it with another die, and it still landed on 20. Just transferred the 20 oh to the other die. All right. Who invented tequila? Uh, well, tequila. By, this, by this picture, a hot <laughs> Tequila invented tequila. <laughs> That's where it came from. It's her last name. Yeah. She made it, man. It's the tequila fortune. That way she can have her own reality show and a chandelier made of dildos. <laughs> and a, a couple porn tapes. Does she have porn tapes? Yep. She's hmm. got dose. Huh. Trust me. I know. I've them. seen them. <laughs> Multiple times. I have them on my hard drive. Well, first of all, agave. <laughs> Your hard drive? <laughs> That's, <good. laughs> That's what I call my dick. <laughs> agave has been around as early as 2000 or 200 A.D. dice in there all right so uh, fuck this story yeah it's really long <laughs> a drone crashed while smuggling weed into a south carolina prison much Boosh. better much better story uh reuters reports that the wreckage of a drone has been found outside a maximum security prison called the lee correctional institution in south carolina it's believed to have used smuggled phones marijuana and tobacco into the facility that's pretty fucking The clever. discovery of the crashed drone sparked an investigation that saw 28-year-old Brenton Lee Doyle. A search continues for the second suspect. That's hmm. that's pretty smart on their part, man. Using a drone. Yeah. Just buzzes on in. Some watchdog shit. Here's your, here's your weed. <laughs> Boop. Then you just keep the drone for... Isn't... Yeah. For isn't and I don't I don't know much about the, the marijuana, but isn't, uh, isn't weed, like, not addictive? Like... Are you, are, all right, in the scheme of drugs, no. Yeah, okay, so like... It's not like chemically addictive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's mentally. There okay. You go. Yeah. It's mentally. I know, so like, I know too many people that are like, hey, it's 4 o'clock, time to smoke. Uh, 420. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And, that, then, and, and then they're like, it's dinner time, time to smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more of a mentally thing, like, I need to get my high on. Kind of thing. But yeah. if you stop smoking, apparently, you know. Yeah, it does. It doesn't fuck your system. You don't, you up. don't get okay. The, you don't get the shakes. All right, you're just like, oh, I'm not high. Yeah, let's right. risk 
way more years in this prison to, <laughs> yeah. to get some get yeah. some weed. <laughs> Danish researchers created the Usain Bolt of networks. A team from the Technical University of Denmark used a single multi-core optical fiber to transfer at 43 terabits per second, making it the world's fastest fiber network. It makes Google Fiber look like 96 AOL dial-up. So what was it, point... You can download a one gigabyte movie in point two milliseconds. That's insane. That's the average blink of an eye lasts between one hundred and four hundred milliseconds. You could download thousands of movies in the blink of an eye. And you know what? America will never get it. God. Don't if they do, it'll be really expensive. It'll be yeah, yeah. like five hundred dollars. Yeah, a just month. out the ass. That's cool, though. That's cool that the technology's getting there. Japan. I bet Japan are like the Swedish, the Swedes. South they seem Korea. to have really yeah, South. Yeah, they have insanely good internet. Their fucking national sport is like StarCraft. Yeah. They invest in their internet. <laughs> oh, the internet! <laughs> yep. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Jackie Chan, when'd you get to South Korea? <laughs> oh, this is Jackie Chan. <laughs> that didn't answer my question at all. <laughs> Oh, I fry over. I tuck you in. It'd be all nice. All right, that'll do it for technology news. Let's move into the main event. The best part. You know what? I'm going to play all three drops at once. News team! Time for the main event. Let's get it on! It's time and for now the it's time combo, combo news desk. Combo news desk. Let's go Matt, for the gold, Johnny. Thanks, guy. <laughs> Talk about a three-hit combo. Oh, my God. A Nebraska man was sentenced Tuesday to 180 days in jail for driving drunk with a car full of chickens, many of them crushed to death. I just got out, too. <laughs> <laughs> Louise Motolo Pl- Placio, who was 36, yes. was stopped by Grand Island Police in January for driving with his headlights off. He was visibly drunk, officer said. In the back of the car, he had a cage filled with 100 chickens. Oh. Many of the chickens died while trapped inside. Only 58 of the 100 chickens were alive. Oh, it's one cage. Oh, that's sad. How big was the car, truck, whatever? It was probably a car. They said car. Mm, driving, driving, In the back of his car. In the back of his car. Yeah, it was a car. That sucks. That's really sad. That is sad. It's sadder than I thought the story was going to be. <laughs> yeah, like the headline was hilarious. I really I really wanted him to be like a chicken activist. <laughs> he just got drunk <laughs> and like he never did anything. His girlfriend was mad at him. You say you're going to save the chicken world, but you never do it. He gets oh, drunk. Oh, yeah, like, bitch. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to save those <laughs> chickens. 100 chickens. <laughs> his girlfriend gets to him in prison. It's only 58. <laughs> yeah, you only save 58 he's, of the chickens. He's in the back of their house just like <laughs> shoveling them into one of those like cat crates. Just, come on. Come on! The KFC will never see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so that story ended up being sadder than I thought it would be. But, but we the turned it around. Is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the headline is hilarious. I didn't know it was a Nebraska guy either. This will be I it didn't for either. Uh, not reading articles. Yep. Woodchuck to blame for teen hit by a car in New York. Police say Woodchuck is to blame for the crash that left a central New York teenager hospitalized. Syracuse police say that the 18-year-old Philip Lloyd was walking on a grass path along the road on the afternoon of July 11th, where he was startled by the animal and went into the road to avoid it. How much? How many cars could a woodchuck destroy if a woodchuck <laughs> could destroy cars? Five. Apparently one. Officers say the teen was then hit by a vehicle. How, how, that's a story you don't really want to tell. Like, why, Why'd you jump out into the road? I was trying to avoid a woodchuck. Like, are woodchucks naturally aggressive? I don't know, but still, like you could just kind of kick a woodchuck and it'd be like, okay, sorry, sorry, it was sorry. Morning, that hundred chickens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know beavers can be really dangerous because they yeah. can bite into that artery in your leg. Yeah, yeah. Be- There's been a couple cases of that. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People die from I for- beavers. I, man. I forget what that artery is called, but you know, there's a big one in your leg, and they got big teeth. They're going for that wood, but missed. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, platypuses are poisonous. Yeah, they are. Yep. They've got spines behind their legs. And they will uh, fuck your shit up. Platypi are fucked up. Yeah. Perry, no. <laughs> Perry, Perry the platypus? Perry the platypus? From Phineas and Ferb? Are you guys kidding me? Nope. You've never seen Phineas and Ferb? I know no, of it, I'm, but I've never watched it. That is the <laughs> best cartoon on Disney Channel. 
See, never watched. You it seriously either. need to get into Phineas and Ferb. You guys have Netflix? Yeah. Watch it. Watch it all. Watch it all. It is so good. Well, There's, I've been watching my documentaries. There are so many adult Netflix jokes. Netflix has been rocking documentaries. I know a lot lately. about. There are so Nazi many adult weaponry. jokes. Weird Al made the uh, opening song. That's one <laughs> of me and Skyler's like. That's what we do. Is we get on Netflix and we watch we watch Phineas and Ferb. That's it's so funny. Back in the day when Netflix actually had like they had simultaneous like on Xbox 360 you could watch multiple multiple people could watch the same thing and it, it was, was like cool. yeah it was like a theater and your little like Xbox avatars would sit yeah. down me and a couple friends would just commentate on Blues Clues oh yes <laughs> like Mystery Science Theater Blues Clues it was fun no man. it's not there blue fuck <laughs> All right, a highway covered in butter after a delicious accident. A semi-trailer overturned on Indian on an Indianapolis interstate, spilling what police say is forty-five thousand pounds of packages of butter. Jesus. The crash happened around three thirty a.m. Friday on the eastbound lanes of Interstate four sixty-five. The crash left perhaps thousands of butter tubs strewn on the highway, many broken open and coating the highway. The damage was marginable. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Police say the truck driver apparently fell asleep and hit a highway barrier. That's the... Dude, hi, truck drivers fall asleep way too often lately. Because they're paid by the fucking mile. I know. And they're like, gotta get more miles in, gotta get more miles in. Oh, killed a guy. Like, Oh, Tracy Morgan's now. So me. Super <laughs> fucked, yeah. Alright, flight attendant warns travelers to flush their drugs before they land. That's a cool flight attendant. <laughs> An Australian airline apologized on Wednesday for a flight attendant giving passengers who might have been flying flying high that what is the sentence? Who might have been flying high that they were oh, that there were drug sniffer dogs awaiting a Sydney airport. That's really funny. She warned them that there were drug dogs to flush their drugs. Hey man. Was this the soul train? The soul plane? <laughs> the soul plane? Uh no, this was not the soul plane. At least the article does not say. It could have been the soul plane. <laughs> you know, there's two people, and they're, they're just like, don't look like you're freaking out right now, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't look, don't look. And after she says that, it's like, everyone's just waiting for someone to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I actually have to go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, you got to use the bathroom after you were told to flush your drugs. Right. Uh -huh. Well, good thing you can poop and get your, get your cocaine out at the same time. <laughs> God. That gave me a terrible visual. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go with your poop, man. Just cocaine and water. That's what that song was about. <laughs> Let it go? <laughs> Let it go! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, flush your drugs. <laughs> Moral of the story, <laughs> flush, flush them drugs. All right, so that will do it for this episode of 3 at Combo Podcast. <laughs> Remember to find us on Twitter, twitter.com slash 3 combo pc That is the number three. PC stands for podcast. Facebook.com slash 3 combo podcast Email us at 3 combo podcast at gmail.com. And search for us on YouTube, 3 Hit combo podcast So for Tam and Andy, who are trying to distract me right now, this is Matt signing out. Tam won. Thank you.